In 1992, the EU set a minimum of 14 weeks for maternity leave. In 2010, the European Parliament voted to extend it to 18 weeks, with two weeks for fathers. But four years on, there is still no agreement with member states, and the Commission wants to pull the whole thing out. MEPs, however, want to persevere. We asked two MEPs for their take, Irache Garcia Perez from the Socialist Democrats and Ana Maria Coraza Bildt from the European People's Party. Are you for or against what is on the table from the Commission? Estoy a favor de legislar en materia de la conciliación de vida familiar y laboral. Estoy a favor de que haya una directiva de maternidad que garantice la salud de las madres trabajadoras, eh, que garantice un número determinado de semanas de permiso eh, pagado en su totalidad, y eso es compatible con que haya una directiva parental. Well, to use the wording maternity leave nowadays is really a setback for us women. We should talk about parental leave, shared responsibility for children. What do you think of having a defined number of weeks for maternity leave? Hoy ya tenemos una directiva sobre la salud de las madres trabajadoras. Hoy ya hay un número estipulado de semanas mínimas para las mujeres trabajadoras en Europa. Estamos hablando de marcos generales que establezcan un mínimo de protección a las mujeres y que posteriormente cada Estado miembro podrá avanzar y legislar a mayores. There are enormous differences between member states on what kind of family policies we have adopted also tradition and so on, and we cannot have it one size fits all. So it's very good to talk about safety of pregnant women, breastfeeding women and women who just had children. But again, this is more a national issue in terms of health system. And it's, I think, up to member states to decide how many weeks or not weeks. Is maternity leave discriminatory for women? Should we talk about parental leave with a shared responsibility for children? Cuanto más equilibrado sea en el número de semanas eh, que tienen que disfrutar las mujeres y los hombres, eh, será más factible el que haya una igualdad de condiciones en el mercado laboral. Pero quiero recordar una cosa, es que también hablamos de la salud de las madres trabajadoras. Eh, una mujer que acaba de dar a luz eh, por cuestión de salud necesita un número determinado de semanas para recuperarse físicamente. This directive is discriminatory towards women. It, it still gives a message that women should, should stay at home when a family has children or where a couple has children. And that, of course, affects the women's career development possibilities. What would be the duration of such a time off? Todo lo que podamos avanzar en hacer permisos igualitarios eh, será positivo para la conciliación entre la vida familiar y laboral. Y en segundo lugar, cuando estamos hablando de que hay países que están muchos más avanzados en este sentido, en ningún caso una legislación común europea va a ir en contra de aquellos que hayan decidido avanzar más. Bueno, el principal principle that that is a problematic in this resolution is that it's not shared. It even says that we should have a separate legislation for men. So it says, you know, that the Commission should propose a separate legislation to give minimum 10 days to men. So why would you have 20 weeks for women but 10 days to men? We put discrimination inside our text. If you put a minimum at European level as mandatory, you would again impose on countries where there is already a great participation of men in taking care of their children, uh, forced to go back. Should there be a parental leave like in Sweden? In the case of Spain, there is a permiso obligatorio intransferible for the men for two weeks, which is still insufficient, but it's the way that advances in that the men are also responsible for the care of their children and their children. Pero estamos hablando que Europa necesita avanzar en este sentido. La posición del Parlamento eh, se tomó en el 2008. Estamos a 2015 y a día de hoy todavía no hemos podido avanzar nada. Our role at European level as uh, opinion builders, uh, we should be also at the forefront of raising awareness, pushing and pressing member states to really give uh, women the possibility to advance in career by changing the attitude, by involving the business community. Like in Sweden, it's one of the most successful business community, and yet there are extremely generous parental leaves where men are also taking it, so it's, it's not affecting business. Uh, but that we impose it with a legislation that is one size fits all and make it mandatory, it means that if I am uh, in for instance, I have my career and I don't want to take more than 10 days, but my husband or my partner wants to take it, I'm obliged to take it. You cannot oblige me to take it. 
to take maternity leave. When do you expect a solution with the Luxembourg presidency? Yo espero y exijo que exista la posibilidad de tener al día siguiente de retirar la propuesta de la directiva de maternidad, de tener encima de la mesa ya una alternativa. Y es lo que espero que la presidencia de Luxemburgo, junto con la Comisión Europea, nos pongan encima de la mesa ya esa propuesta alternativa. Will it be a no on your part? Aquí el Parlamento Europeo tampoco había un acuerdo con respecto al número de semanas, pero se debatió y se tomó una posición, y esa es la posición que tiene el Parlamento. Por lo tanto, yo estoy dispuesta, por supuesto, a hablar, a continuar hablando del número de semanas de maternidad. Not mandatory. Not mandatory. <risa> 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 <risa>